You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your full roster of GH spoilers from Monday, October 23rd, all the way through Friday, October 27th. I'm going to unpack all these for you. I've got at least five for every single day. There is so much happening this week. I'm going to dig in in one second, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Monday, October 23rd on General Hospital Season 61, Episode 28, Sonny Corinthos is back from his honeymoon and goes to deal with lady mobster Selena Wu. He is going to confront her about this Sasha mess, this Dr. Montague mess, this Gladys thing, because all of this happened because Selena was busy trying to line her pockets and she's putting pressure on Curtis. I wouldn't be surprised if Sonny threatened to blow her out of the water and he may tell her to pack her crap and leave Port Chuck. Brooklyn Quartermain is stunned on Monday. I wonder if she's going to hear Tracy's plan to give her deception, which is what she told Lois Cirillo she was doing. Portia Robinson faces off with Cyrus Renault, which is pretty tense considering he held her and her daughter hostage at one point. And Tracy asserts her influence, and I'm wondering if she's at the deception offices throwing her weight around. And Cody Bell is thankful on Monday. He's got no criminal charges he's facing, but I'm wondering if he's thankful because Cyrus Sasha has decided to stay. I don't know. We're still waiting on some kind of confirmed news about whether Sophia Matson is in or out. A lot of people have wondered if she's off for maternity leave. She is not. Her daughter was actually born back in May. She is like mm, around five months old. So this is definitely not a maternity leave, but we just don't know her fate yet. I will let you know when I find out more. Tuesday, October 24th on General Hospital Season 61, Episode 29, and Laura Spencer confronts Scotty Baldwin. I bet she wants to ask her ex-husband some questions about why the heck they he was repping Cyrus Renault and helped the bad guy get out of prison. Scotty doesn't care as long as the check clears. We know that about him, but Laura is going to be mad. And Nina Reeves chews out Martin Gray. I think he's going to give her a little heads up. Oh, by the way, Michael knows that you're the one behind the SEC report, and he's going to have to explain his cowardly ways and violating attorney-client privilege. Cyrus threatens someone, and I wonder if it's Mason for not following orders and trying to kill Ava anyway and getting himself shot, which of course puts Cyrus in the hot seat if Mason decides to flip on him so that he can avoid criminal charges. Lucy goes looking for Tracy Quartermain. I'm sure this is about deception. And Michael is carefully considering how he wants to handle things. I think he wants to make sure that he does maximum damage when he reveals this info about Nina. Wednesday, October 25th on General Hospital is episode 30 of the current season and Carly gets some news that upsets her. I wonder if this is something about Drew and them still not being able to get him out or maybe it's about the Nina thing. We'll see. Nina is totally blindsided on Wednesday and I wonder if that's the day that Michael comes to confront her and lets her know he has the info and he can ruin her life anytime he feels like doing it. I still think it'd be kind of interesting if he held it over her head and manipulated her, but everybody wants it out in the open. But that doesn't mean that it's going to happen because Michael, you know, embedding Dex into Sonny's organization is a long kept secret that it's overdue to come out as well. Dante Falconeri checks in with Cody and it looks like Dante has time to kill because he has been suspended because he shot Mason out of his jurisdiction and didn't loop in the Pawtuck police. Probably a good thing because the Pawtuck cops are probably on Cyrus's payroll. Maxie Jones gives her opinion at work and Willow chats with Liesl Obrecht, who is finally back in town and she wants to see how her great niece is feeling and how that bone marrow is doing. It's doing great. Willow is in very good shape. Thursday, October 26, season 61, episode 31. Curtis Ashford is furious. The big question is it who I'm suspecting maybe something to do with Selena Wu, but we'll see. Cody has some serious things to think about, and I hope he 
he's weighing the fact that he really needs to tell Mac that he's his son. Jocelyn Jax is furious on Thursday, and I wonder if Michael comes and says, oh, by the way, Nina's the one that called the SEC on Carly and Drew. Jocelyn was upset because she was feeling alone in her grudge, but she's not alone anymore. And Felicia makes a huge mistake at work at GH, and apparently it's a costly error. Friday, October 27th on General Hospital, episode 32 of the current season, Austin Gatlin Holt completely snaps and goes off on someone. It's either going to be Cyrus or Mason. Those are the two people that spring to mind because he is furious about this whole Ava situation. And Elizabeth is learning a new skill. It looks like that Finn has pulled her out of town for a romantic ski trip weekend. I am so glad they're going to consummate their relationship somewhere romantic and not in the locker room shower, which I was very worried. I When they showed her and she had her shirt salon, I was like, okay, they're just making out even though he's naked, but... I was going to be so grossed out if the first time that they got intimate was in that manky shower stall. TJ Ashford has a letdown. I wonder if this is professional or if it's personal and something to do with the surrogacy situation. We haven't heard a lot about the surrogacy stuff lately. And Alexis Davis catches up with Laura Spencer, and I'm guessing they are going to be talking about Nicholas Cassadine and that whole situation. That's what I expect it to be about. All right. We also have Trina Robinson completely startled to see Cyrus on the loose and around Port Charles. You know, again, he held her and her mom at gunpoint. Curtis had to come in and rescue them. And that may be what Curtis is really furious about early in the week now that I think about it, because he doesn't want that guy loose because he sees them as an ongoing threat to his wife and daughter. We also have an undated spoiler for the week of the 23rd through the 27th. What happens is we get weekly spoilers and then we get a handful, you know, three, four, maybe five spoilers for the next week. Those are the two week spoilers. And then when the next week's full list of spoilers come out, generally those are all integrated into there, but occasionally there's ones that don't move over, but they're still valid. And so it still offers us some insight. So the undated spoiler for this week ahead is that Lucy Co. vents to Martin. I'm sure she is very upset about Tracy being involved in her company and everything, but Martin Martin's got larger concerns than Lucy right now because realistically, Sonny could still come for him and he's got to be quaking in his ice cream linen suit. All right, that's all the spoilers we have for you. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely drop your comments on what you're excited to see next week in Port Charles. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.